Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for mid-November. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Now, I'm going to be pulling a past, present, future spread for you today. But I'm starting off with the Archeo deck by Nick Pantock. Just to get an overview, cards are being a little quiet for some reason. Maybe you're being a little quiet for some reason. Let's see, we have Grace and we have Angel. Beautiful energies. I love it. Now, when it comes to Grace, this is the energy of being poised. This is the energy of physical precision and refinement of movement. I am referring to the book. It is the essence of balanced composure. It is being unfazed by anything. When your mind and body become heavy and awkward, grace will give you poise and help steady your nerves. I feel like Aquarius, um, Sagittarius got a very similar energy about whatever it is that life is throwing at you, you are handling it with a lot of dignity and composure. You are not throwing temper tantrums, you are not throwing any fits about it. You are just going with the flow right now, which is a beautiful energy for you. You are the inventor, you are the humanitarian, you are the creator. You are somebody who likes to take action, who is constantly on the move. But I feel like that movement right now is, is not directed towards something. It is just directed to flowing with the seasons. That's what I'm getting. With the angel here, I mean, clearly you are being blessed. You are being protected and guided. You may be seeing a lot of angel numbers. But the angel is, is, is an energy, it's an entity that keeps you from any mishap and makes sure that you give your best. Now, the angel's protection sometimes is not guaranteed. All right. And this assistance comes in direct proportion to your willingness to search for truth. As long as you continue your soul's quest, she will be with you. But if you become lazy and refuse to journey, she will, she will evaporate like mist into the ether. I feel that there is an element of surrender here. And there is a fine balance that needs to be struck between Kesara Sara and I am the creator of my own reality. And I feel like you're bouncing between the two time and time again. Should I surrender? Should I go with the flow? Or should I manifest? not realizing that they're one and the same thing. When you manifest, it is not called the law of attraction. It is called the law of assumption, okay? When you assume that something is gonna happen for you, there is a surety there, okay? There's a grace there, there's an acceptance there, there's a surrender there. And when you do that, divine forces start working in your favor. But at the same time, it's like you want to win the lottery, right? But you're not going to buy the ticket. How will you win it? So you have to do your bit and you have to let the universe do its bit or the angels to do, the, to, uh, do their bit, right? So go buy that lottery ticket or join that dating app or go on that date, right? You have to do that bit for yourself and then adopt the kesara, adopt the surrender that I have done what I could have done. Universe, show me what you got. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful energy. I really like it. Oh, 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 the cards were quiet for you and now suddenly they're screaming. Oh, I love it. In the recent past, we have the star, your energy with the three of wands. This is the card of manifestation, the three of wands. And the star is about a wish. So you see how it's so beautiful and so cohesive. With the star, you were manifesting, you were healing, you were asking the universe for something, you were wishing upon a star. But you weren't sitting pretty about it. You did go to that port. You did look out into this distant horizon and you manifested that ship. So I feel like you've been on the right path so far, Aquarius. And I don't need to preach to you. Let's see in the present. There could have been a clarity about what it is that you truly want from life. Hmm, interesting. Oh my God. This is cracking me up, Aquarius. What a beautiful reading. We have the hanged one or the hanged man. And then we have the seven of pentacles, which is exactly this. It's flexibility. 
it is it's not sitting pretty right you are baking that bread you are putting in that work and you've invested in something or you are investing in something and then what are you doing about it you're surrendering you're like i've done the work show me what you got oh my god this is giving me chills what a stunning energy aquarius this is going to be a short reading but i'm not going to prolong it because it's beautiful it's very very clear and very concise i feel like you've been investing in the right people the right places the right ideologies and you've been investing in yourself you are shifting your perspective about life you're not putting yourself in a box you're understanding that the only thing that is constant in life is change oop dropped a card hang on a minute oh interesting we have the 10 of wands and we have the 3 of cups this could mean a few things now this could mean that you don't have to carry the weight alone whatever it is that you are dealing with whatever responsibilities are plaguing you you don't have to go about this alone not only is there a soul tribe to look after you and care for you and support you there could be a partnership coming in as well the 3 of cups sometimes can be a card of reconciliation but more often than not it is about finding a person or people who truly speak to your soul people who understand your frequency and people who don't expect you to change for them because they're exactly like you they love you for who you are because you reflect a part of them you know what i mean it's healthy projection um let's see bottom of the deck wow we have the ace of swords the 10 of swords ooh two of wands king of cups 10 of cups ace of wands okay i'm going to stop there look you've been looking to the future right you are a very futuristic sign so you're looking to the future you're discerning the horizon you know exactly what color your ship is going to be and because you've been so meticulous about your your wishes they're coming in right you're leaving something behind you're le leaving a part of you behind because you know exactly what it is that you want to be we have the ace of swords and the 10 of swords there are two 10s of swords in this particular deck One ten of swords just talks about pure, unadulterated pain, but this ten of swords talks about being wise. It talks about looking at wisdom in the face and projecting that wisdom onto yourself. That's a very aged man looking at an owl. Every sword in the ten of swords is a piece of information that makes you all the more wiser. All right, so you are transmuting all of that information not into pain but into lessons. and from those lessons you are picking up one particular sword that you want to build upon you see how the roots are stemming from her brain and they're growing into a beautiful tree thoughts become things and you realize that and you are not using you're not you're not um manifesting from a place of pain anymore you're manifesting from that singular truth that you are so sure of that you're so sure you want your life to be that is growing into that just out of sheer will what a beautiful reading we have the king of cups 10 of cups ace of wands i mean this is a partnership this is a very loving person coming in to make you truly truly happy aquarius if you are here for love and i'm not going to make this up this is a love reading because <laughs> the king of cups is 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 a whole lot of love in someone's heart the 10 of cups is a happily ever after the ace of wands is a fresh brand new beginning i feel like you've been wishing for the right things you've been doing the right kind of work this is a very very healthy path that you're on aquarius dog loyalty you've been wishing for loyalty you've been wishing for permanence and stability and you've been wishing for someone where you do, you don't have to worry about anybody straying where you don't have to do all the work where you don't have to bend backwards where you don't have to just keep compromising over and over and over again i see that coming in i mean the good stuff the tower beautiful okay this is not the tarot tower this is not the right away tower the tower in this deck is an absolutely beautiful energy it is the energy of protection and permanence it is the energy of stability it symbolizes true values it symbolizes a quiet place high status and it brings about a level of understanding in spiritual health 
all right and this could represent sometimes an authoritarian figure okay it could re represent someone who is at a particular position in society if that makes sense but it could also talk about unequal um, relations in terms of age or culture but it does talk about permanence and that is what you are hoping for and you're willing to suspend yourself till you find that it's almost like you've put the cake in the oven you're not opening the door a million times you know something's cooking you know the universe is watching your your cake it's going to make sure it doesn't burn you know what i mean this is absolutely stunning and i feel like you've who did i say this to i think i said it to sagittarius about even if a tower fell you you're picking up those bricks and you're not building a new tower you're building a castle stunning 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 reading aquarius clouds the clouds card in this particular deck talks about i'm going to get one more it talks about slightly unclear thinking now with the three of cups i did get earlier coffin oh okay interesting you remember i said um hmm, reconciliation it is possible that somebody from the past may peep out again and the coffin is talking about just that something that ended okay something or someone you separated from coming back to cause more unclear thinking hmm with the clouds card that is why this is a burden for you i see i'm going to get one more card here the world oh i love it i adore it put an end to this put an end to this aquarius i don't know what this is but put an end to it because the ace of swords your truth is is not related to this it's not related to this at all and i truly feel like we have letter at the bottom of the deck which talks about communication i truly feel like there are people around you who truly 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 have your best intentions at heart listen to the advice of your soul tribe there is someone who wants to come in and cause more confusion more confusion than they left you with and they are not carrying the same energy that you've been manifesting sometimes the universe does this right we've been asking for something let's say we've been asking for um candy right and you're asking for a particular type of candy and the universe sends you something that is a little different but would satiate you nonetheless don't grab that candy okay it's not good for you it's not what you want to manifest let that candy go it will give you cavities okay indulge only in things that will help you maintain good emotional health good mental health that is your truth wait for the 10 of cups wait for the king of cups whoever this is is still carrying a very stale residual energy of pain they haven't transformed that is why grace and angel are here how will you react to that chaos will you be flexible or will you break will you let the angel help you will you work with the angel will you let the world complete itself will you let the arboris eat itself that's the snake that eats itself the arboris will you let this come to an end i don't know if this is the past energy transmuting into something that you truly deserve or it is you eliminating this past energy so that a new beautiful energy can come in and your wishes can come true it could be either either way my friend there is love coming in okay there is a beautiful partnership coming in with the 10 of cups so make space for that in your mind and in your heart and in your life all right let's get you some charms to close this off we have the letters e and m these could be your initials they could be the initials of someone you're dealing with or dealt with in the past doesn't have to be we have aries you could be dealing with an aries or you could have it heavily in your chart we have a pentacle stability this is what we want we want to build something with a very very strong foundation we have a broken heart 
Now, I don't know if this is your broken heart. I highly doubt it. I feel like this is somebody you are dealing with, with the coffin card in the clouds. Don't give in. All right. We have a feather which talks about communication and we have an intricate heart. Wait for a love that is complicated but beautiful and worth fighting for. Nothing comes easy, right? Whatever this is, is going to be complicated. But it's going to make you want to work for it. Wait for it. All right, Aquarius? That was it. I hope this helped. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.